Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Physio. In this module, I want to show you how you can create a website map, which automatically will map your website using a Visio template. This is the Visio template I'm going to use. I've just used it so it's sitting there, but if I scroll down and get into categories, where it is, is under software and database. If I go in there, you'll see the website map template there. So I'll open that up. It's going to run a wizard. So I'll go create. And what it will allow you to do is populate web addresses in here and then it will map those addresses. Now you've got some settings. So at the moment, three levels, a 300 links. If I go into settings, you've got the option of changing some of this stuff. Extensions, protocols, attributes, advanced features. All of this you can modify. But I'm just going to cancel it for now and let it run on my own website, which is this one. So if you just type that in there or paste it in there or browse. Click OK and then it will start generating the sitemap, which might take a little while. So I'll just pause this for a minute. So there you can see it's now dropped the map for my website. Now what you have here is some crosses, which means there's an error and you've got information buttons there, error, and it tells you what the error message is, if there is one. If I zoom that in a little bit. Same error. Okay, so each of these, you've got a little plus, which will expand. Or if you double click on it, it will do the same sort of thing as we've just done already. In fact, I'll do it on this one. Double click on this one. So it's going to generate the map coming out of there. And if I zoom this down, it's come out like that. So whichever one of these you open up, you, the, the sub map comes out from there. I'll just minimize this a bit. So you can see the whole structure there. So wherever there's a plus, there's another level. So you can just double click onto it and it'll expand it out for you. Now if I create another one, so if I go back to file new, now it's sitting there, create, this time I'll select the BBC, which is a massive site, and if I go into settings, maybe I can go down to two levels, and maximum number of links, let's go for 200, still probably going to take quite a long while to create it, so just click OK, see what it does, and then I'll just pause again. And then you can see it's created the, the site level for us, two levels really. There's a, there is a little error message there, unknown, so it's quite surprising to see that on the BBC. It's a few down here. Zoom in, you can see it in a bit more detail. So this is an automatically created map and it's showing any error message that then that would, would have to be addressed. And if I just come in a bit closer, now, when you zoom in on any of these screens, you can see that there's some of them have got a little plus and some of them have got a hyperlink. So if the plus, if I double click that, it means there's a level in there that I can expand. So that will generate another map for that area. Just drop it in there. It'll just push this stuff out of the way and you can see that level as well. Now, other ones, well, I'll just wait for that one to finish, but some of them... I've got hyperlinks. There you go, you can see it dropping in there from that level. This one, if I click on it, it then it's got the little hyperlink symbol there and it's telling me it's going to go to that. I don't know what that is, but if I hold my control key down and click that, it should take me to that site, which is this, the iPlayer. So I'll close that down. If I Double click on the plus, it'll do the level, and it'll push this out of the way. If you use your control key, if there's a hyperlink there, it will hyperlink to that web page. So if you've got any errors, 
like on mine or on this one even let's see if I can get onto this one to see what error message this is little information box unknown so does that mean if I double click it nothing happens there's no plus there I've got a hyperlink symbol so let's see what I get so I'm clicking it nothing's happened so either that's been deleted or moved or it's just a broken link but this is the map and if I go and create another one if I go file new and go back into my website let's see what the problem is on that one so that will remember this it's remembering that I've got it on two levels let's go into settings and just put it onto one level and let's go for 50 links I don't want too many it takes too long okay okay so it generates that and it shouldn't take too long to load up if I've restricted it like that but the BBC site is a massive site so I was expecting lots of links this one now is quite small if I just zoom in on it so this is a hyperlink so let me just go for that one see what it is control get a little hand click it's just on my web page as a fault so okay fair enough I'll have to find that and delete that this one hyperlink click it first hyperlink click should go to a web page that is working which is that one that's okay and that's what you can do so this is just an automated way of mapping out your website and then finding any faults so you can see these crosses I need to deal with them I've restricted the number of levels so it's not showing all levels if you don't want to use this wizard you can manually create your own map using these symbols these stencil symbols down the left there you've got quick shapes at the top it's just a few and then this but why do that manually when you've got this option if it's already created if it's not created obviously it's creating a structure you might want to do it like that but that's all I want to talk about in this little video how you can use the map website template in Microsoft Visio to map your website or any website that you have an address to hopefully this was of use to you thank you for your time I'll catch you in the next one